Did you know that you can create a test post with organic content on your Facebook page without using Facebook ads? I'm Amanda Robinson, I am the digital gal, and I'm going to show you how to create a test post, an A-B split, using video content for your Facebook page. We are going to test two different video posts against each other and allow Facebook to circulate those for a period of time. And depending on which one gets the better results that we're asking for, Facebook will then post that one to my Facebook page and allow that to be the winning post that then circulates. The whole purpose of these experiments is to see what content performs better. And until now, we've really only been able to do strict A-B testing with your Facebook ads. So now we get to test this out organically with your organic content on your Facebook page. Let's dive in in order to do this, we need to be in Facebook Creator Studio. Head on over to business.facebook.com slash creator studio. Once we're in Creator Studio, you want to go over and hit create a post. And we have this new option here called create post tests. When I select on this option, it wants me to choose the page if you have more than one page connected to uh, Creator Studio. And now we are in the testing zone where I can create two different test posts and test them against each other. We have some options to choose here. First of all, we need to give our test a name. Test video one. I'm not very creative when it comes to this. <laughs> Optionally, we can add a description to our test if we need to give this a little more context. Um, but now we get to look at the different pieces that we get to test with these organic posts. We have the metric, the key metric that this is going to choose the winner based on. By default, it's set to one minute video views. Alternately, if I wanted to, I could test it based on which post gets more comments, which one gets more shares, more reactions, more people reached, or more link clicks. So let's go for people reached. And then we get to choose the duration of this test, how long this test runs for before Facebook declares a winner and posts this onto my page. So let's just go with the 10 minute test to start. You can go up to a maximum of 24 hours. Let's just start easy, start with the 10 minutes. Uh, and it does have a note here to manually end your test. If you wanna end your test early and declare a winner, um, you have to do so before your test is scheduled to end. So for example, if you scheduled it for 24 hours but wanted to end it after 10 hours and then have it choose the winner, you could do that. So now we are going to upload our video. Once you've chosen a video, you need to then put in your title for the video and a description. So I have a couple different variations that we're going to test here. And now it's uploading. Once it's uploaded, then I can duplicate this or create a new one. Great, this video has finished loading. I can also choose a different thumbnail image if I would like. So let's scroll through. All right, so now I can duplicate this. Now that I've duplicated this, I'm going to change my title. And I'm going to add a new description. All right, and now we have test variables that it's showing us. So it's testing the title and description. And to determine the top performing post, after 10 minutes, your post will be, uh, the winner will be determined. And it will be distributed to future audiences and can be found in the content library. All right, we can either schedule that post, we can save it as a draft, or we can publish. So let's publish that test and see which one is the winner. Post test successfully created. Your posts are processing. So after 10 minutes, we will have the determined top performing post and Facebook will then publish that one to my page and let that be the one that continues to be circulated. So let's check back in 10 minutes. All right, seven seconds left, three seconds, two seconds. And excited to see what happens. Our test is completed. It ended after 10 minutes. Let's dig in and look at the performance. <laughs> Well, in this case, there's not a huge swing in data, so I wouldn't be betting the farm on this one, but it's interesting to see how it breaks it down. So we have the top performer post, which was post A instead of post B. In this case, it reached 12 people instead of 10 people. 
and you get the breakdown of your metrics. I think in my case, knowing my audience, it probably would have been better for me to run this test for a lot longer. For example, to run it for three hours to see what type of results I could have had out of this. But for the purpose of testing and being able to see what this looks like, this is very interesting. So it gives me all the stats on the test and uh, determines the winner. So now if I go over to my Digital Gal Facebook page, let's head on over there. I should see the winning post now on my page's timeline. Let's have a look. And sure enough, we can see that post right over here. Excellent. And I've got notifications from Facebook saying that my test has been complete. Some other options that we have when we are done our post, we can publish another post. Rather than having Facebook publish the top performing post, we can ask it to publish one of the other posts. In this case, we only had post A and post B. So instead I can choose post B. Now it is giving me a heads up saying your test has ended, but you can choose a different post to distribute to your audience. Your selection will replace the top performing post according to your test results. It can be found in your content library. Uh, and it also tells me that the post that I chose can be found in my content library. Other posts will remain public and visible to my test audience, but will no longer receive distribution, meaning they're no longer going to be organically distributed by Facebook in the feeds. It's going to be found in my content library and the uh, test audience that it was served to is still going to be available to them. So I'm just going to cancel out of that. Another neat feature down here is continue tracking post performance. So if I hover over that, it tells me track the performance of your post variance after your post test has ended. Sure, let's switch that on and see what that does. So we can track the performance over time. All right, I'm gonna hit done. And now I've got my post testing area. And now if I go to my content library and if I look at my posts, I've got post A, test winner, published. Now, why would you want to be testing organic posts? Well, Facebook really does want to help you produce better content. Facebook wants people to stay on the platform for longer and then watch your videos longer, engage more with your content, and wants to help creators produce higher quality video content. Facebook has created lots of tools. We can see those over in Creator Studio to help us understand how people are interacting with our content, to see how people are engaging with our video content specifically, and giving us lots and lots and lots of metrics to watch, including audience retention. So we'll take a little tour in there. Now, giving us tools to A-B test our organic content puts a lot of power in the creator's hands to really start to shape and understand what works well for your audience. And if we start producing content that caters to your audience specifically, we're going to get more engagement. We're going to get higher watch times and longer audience retention. That's great for the algorithm. It's great for you. And it can also impact your Facebook ad costs long term. So if we can dial in what's working organically for you, that maps over very well into your Facebook ads. I always say if you're going to be producing ad content, you want to be promoting and putting money behind content that we know can perform well organically and not trying to move dead weight by trying to put ad dollars behind things that are just not attractive to your audience. So let's take a look back in Creator Studio. This is an example of the type of data that you can get off of Facebook as far as video content. So this is a video that was published and it breaks down all of my metrics from how many one minute views I've had to the average minutes viewed, the engagement that I've had, uh, reactions, shares, comments, and how many total minutes that were viewed. And you can also see your chart on when uh, retention starts to drop off in this video. So this is helpful to know that at this exact point, 16 minutes, 16 seconds in, that's when uh, attention span started to drop off on this for me. So watching the, this information can help you create better content. We can also see how many reactions we had, um, how many times this was viewed as far as recommendations, recommended videos, how many were uh, views were done by my followers, and how many happened on the shares. So this post definitely had a lot of love on the shares. Uh, you can also see the region, the country, um, the age and gender of who was consuming that video content. So that will help you when it comes to creating, catering your content to people who are consuming this. Some really interesting metrics that I love on the right hand side here, you have your distribution summary. Your distribution summary 
tells you how well your content is performing relative to other videos at this exact moment in time from how long ago they were posted, your own content. It's comparing your own content. So this is saying I have 2.9 times higher uh, distribution than other posts that within 12 days of publishing. So this was posted 12 days ago compared to other posts, other video posts that I posted 12 days in. Um, this is getting 3.1 times more one minute views. It's getting uh, less average view time than my other videos, but it's getting 3.7 times more reactions to uh, 0.3 times more comments and 12 times more shares. All of these metrics, look at these metrics, all the little uh, positives and the negatives, all of those positive signals help get your content distributed organically by Facebook in the feed. So if you have negative numbers all the way around, Facebook is going to say, you know what, that content isn't performing as well. We're probably not going to continue to organically distribute that even to people who like your content. So that's why this information is so important to pay attention to. And that's why it's so important to take the time to test your content and having the ability to test with some A-B testing tools on our organic video posts is a fantastic move by Facebook. And I really do highly encourage you to test it out yourself and let me know how your results are. I am Amanda Robinson. I am the Digital Gal. And that was how to A-B test your posts using Creator Studio for your organic posts for your Facebook page.